All right, folks, let us begin with respect to 2015 paper, geography paper 2, map reading, question 1, general proficiency. Um, this is, in fact, a map of Jamaica, Monique, at, with a scale of 1 to 50,000. Always remember to look at your map. Take approximately two minutes to peruse your map and familiarize yourself with the scale, roads, color codes, contours, the key. All right. And when you are finished doing so, let us tackle the first question. What is a six-figure good reference of the church in Walker's Wood, northeast of the area, for two marks? As you can see right here, where the arrow is pointing, that is the church. CH is representative of church, which is at Walker's Wood, which gives you an easting. Easting is at vertical lines, which happens to be 4, 1, 2. And your northings, your northing, sorry, would be the horizontal line which coincides with 850. Six figure good reference is 412850. Question number part B. What is the bearing of the crossroad class A and class C roads at Monique from the junction at Walker's Wood? When you are doing angular bearing, you have to draw your cross at these specific points, make sure they are straight. Angular bearing is from, a face, from the north, right, in a clockwise direction, okay? As you can see in this image on the screen, the first part, the semicircle is 180 degrees, and there would be a small little angle there that you have to pay attention to. That angle is, in fact, 30 degrees. 180 plus 30 happens to be 210. Always be able to check, double check, and triple check your answers in your exam. Third question What is the average gradient of the road from the junction at Walker's Wood to the crossroad at Monique? You have to show all your working. We understand that the gradient is, in fact, vertical difference divided by the horizontal distance. All right, remember that formula in your head. Okay, keep it in mind. Um, look at your scale. The distance happens to be six kilometers. All right. So the vertical difference will be 400 minus 310 meters, which was given in the question, divided by six kilometers, which is. 400 minus um, 310 is 30 meters divided by 6,000 meters, like units, meters over meters, which will give you 3 into 200 or 3 divided by 200. Or it could be represented in the form of a decimal, 0 0.015. Part D is based upon an insert that is in fact provided here. And you have to insert these little pieces of information. All right, this is the insert. Insert the highest point in the area. This will be representative of what you call the trigonometric station, which is a triangle at the top there, which is at 795. All right, be careful when you are doing this. Be sure you look at it block for block. You also have to insert, sorry, identify by the letter D, one depression east of Easting 32. Go down on your, your key, look at the symbol for what depression looks like. All right, and whenever you see that particular depression, you have to label it, which is right there where that red arrow is in fact pointing. D for depression. Okay. We also have to draw the water course, the river course, at Friendship Pen and indicate the directional flow. Rivers flow from high elevated areas to low elevated areas. All right, and so keep that in mind for me. This blue line is representative of the watercourse. Use an arrow or arrows to highlight the directional pathway. Shade all the land over 600 meters. This is in fact for two marks. As you can see, the 600 meter contour mark, obviously above that where the trigonometric station is, is representative of area above 600 meters. Keep that in mind for me, please. All right, part E. List two types of economic activities that can be found in Claremont and Golden Grove areas. Look at Claremont, look at Golden Grove, take time and look at your map for me, please. And if you look at Claremont, you can actually see, if you go down in your key, that particular section, you see little symbols, abbreviations as well. PS stands for police station, and at Golden Grove, PO stands for postal office. So part F, state two features of drainage in the area covered by the map extract. Um, first and foremost, we all need to understand what is a drainage feature. 
you can decipher this through observation in terms of what it is. A drainage feature is one where water can be stored, collected, or even transferred from one area to another, to a next. This can be subcategorized into human or man-made drainage features, or even natural drainage features. Man-made drainage features are in fact those which are inclusive of, we have boreholes, soakaways, wells, ponds, reservoirs, etc. Natural drainage features are inclusive of those which are like lakes, we have streams and rivers, we have floodplains, we have wetlands, swamps, marshes, and so forth. Describe briefly with reference to the entire map. Two characteristics are each of the following. With respect to the distribution of settlements, you need to observe carefully um, on the map. If you look at the key, all right, you will actually see different symbols and stuff like that. This is why observation is in fact very important. You can see black dots and congested areas are representative of buildings and obviously built up areas respectively. All right, these pink shades are built up areas. Now, first and foremost, built up or congested settlement patterns exist on the gentler slope, all right? Examples being Walker's Wood. Um, if you look carefully, the contours are, are in fact a bit spaced out and they are further apart. As you look further down, you can see steeper terrain, right? Which happens to be less congested, all right? Settlement arrangements, examples being within the periphery of Friendship Pen. Settlements are also influenced by the presence of interconnected roadways and by extension, the vegetative types. For instance, the green shades represent forests and there is less settlements all right, on these particular areas. Whereas if you look carefully at mixed or scattered vegetation, all right, which is in fact exemplified by the white background with blue dots, all right, this is in fact surrounded by a significant amount of settlement patterns. With respect to the form or the type of settlement, if you are to peer through the map, all right, you can actually be able to see, um, number one, nucleated or congested or built up settlement patterns exist along areas such as Claremont, Golden Grove, Walker's Wood, to name a few, due to the aforementioned reasons. But secondly, linear settlement patterns exist in the southern region alongside roadways, such as within the vicinity of Cedar Grove and Clover Hill. while scattered or dispersed settlement patterns exist south of Charlton. Part H. Using examples explain one relationship between relief of the land in the area covered by the map extract and each of the following features. Number one, we have farming. Now in terms of farming, we have to understand first and foremost what relief is associated. Relief is associated with topography of the slope or the slope angle. All right, so with respect to farming, mixed or scattered cultivation, for example, falls within the category of arable farming and can be seen on gentler slopes and not on the very steep slopes. Secondly, natural vegetation. Specifically, woodland vegetation encompasses a large geographical area um, as seen with the solid shades of green and associated with steep topography, example being Pleasant Hill. We also have roadways. How are roadways associated with relief? The majority of the roads, Class A and Class B roads, and even C roads for that matter, they are found on the gentler slopes. While on the steeper slope or the steeper areas such as Mount Pleasant, there happens to be motorcycle motorcycle tracks and footpaths hope this was actually beneficial anybody have any questions feel free to let me know so you can email me if you'd like to have the um soft copy of the 2015 map you all take care bye